Right, so this is my third video on plums. Uh, I'm going to try and make this nice and brief, but uh, it's going to be difficult since I'm going to be modifying the level to do some more thorough investigations on uh, the behavior of plum posts such as this one. So something, something that was mentioned, a uh, hypothesis that was put forward was that um, the reaction of a plum to a post is related to the reaction to a gorilla pirate. So if we go into this room, there's a plum here, which we can throw at the head of a gorilla pirate over here, and uh, and it latches on and turns the pirate into a platform, much like for a post. Um, so to be honest, I didn't really think this uh, there was a connection, but um, the beauty the beauty of being able to modify the levels is that we can test it. So we have this we have this plum generator, and we can move it over near the post, or we can also move the post over here. But this will be quicker. Uh, so I just have to find it. I believe it's this one. It's this one. So just figure out where to position it. Yeah, somewhere, anywhere around here. We shall put it here. Why not? Then I can just copy and paste the coordinates. At least that's the idea. Right, and I'll move it down slightly because there's another funny thing I want to show. Mm, that's low enough and um, then so that we don't have to play through half the level just to get there there's another time-saving trick. Uh, there's another plum generator somewhere in the level. Arr. It's amazing how easily you can get lost in these. Right. Anyway, it's this one. And that is number four. Yep, there it is. And we can move that back to the start of the level. I can find the start of the level. Uh, can put it around here. Same trick, copy and paste the coordinates. Ah. Okay, and now save the level and Wait for it to save and run the game. So, yeah, I moved the plum and it should be here, but it's not. And apparently the reason for that is because it's tied to the region in which it's, in which it's originally put, but you can override that by uh, dying. Yeah, apparently there was some code to make the rendering more efficient that they uh, didn't quite um, do consistently. That's a bit lower than I had wanted, but uh, anyway, so this is, this here is the plum from the Gorilla Pirate Room, 
and one hypothesis states that it should bind to the post just as it does to the pirate head. Let's see. Uh, nope, that's not actually the case. And that's the other funny thing, if you stand next to a solid plumb generator, uh, it kills you. Ostensibly by crushing, I guess. So right, that's that hypothesis tested, and the other thing I wanted to do was go up to the higher level and uh, look more closely at how that other plum behaves on posts, so to do that I'll need to go back and make some more modifications. So, go back in here, uh, get the post, which is one of these checkpoints, any one of them at all. Checkpoint. Hmm. Ah. Oh, okay, it's that one. So, I'll just move it up here behind the invisible wall, some some place for the, uh, a good view of it. Mm, move it up a bit. Yep, that's that's fair enough place for it. And then the other thing is so that I have a way of getting up there. I can go back and move this pump generator over here just to have something to hop on because remember the plumb generators are solid and can crush the pair okay save that and launch Silly me. That's it, yeah. Much uh, more conclusive. But if I'm open it, it doesn't fall. That's the camera shaking, not the plume. Hey! Uh, I 
One more time. So yeah, I think we've answered our question now. How how does this plum behave on posts? And we already knew how the other one did. So that's that.